Hey everybody, my name is Kristen Jamerson and I am the Education Director here at Sea Turtle Inc. Sea Turtle Inc. is a nonprofit sea turtle hospital on South Padre Island, Texas. We do have a three-tier mission here to rescue and rehabilitate sick and injured sea turtles for release back out into the wild, to educate the public as well as work towards conservation efforts for all marine turtle species. So I'm really excited that you guys are here. Um, we are going to be talking a lot about sea turtles today. The whole reason we wanted to do these lives is because we know so many of you are cooped up in your houses right now. You're running out of things to do. We want to get you out of your heads for a second, bring you here to our facility virtually so you guys can learn a little bit about sea turtles over these next few weeks. So we're really excited that you guys are here. We're going to try and keep these live videos as interactive as possible. So if you guys do have questions or anything, type those into the comment section. If I don't see them and I'm not able to answer them, during this video, we will make sure that we go back through and answer all the questions that we see come in. Um, but I am going to go ahead and get started. I see some local people tuning in already, so I'm really excited that you guys are here. If you want, go ahead and type where you guys are watching from. I'm excited to see so many of you watching our video already. Uh, today, we are going to be talking a lot about turtle anatomy. So I have a little question for you guys. Get your typing fingers ready if you feel so inclined, but can you guys tell Tell me what type of animal are turtles? So there are a lot of different options here that you might consider. Um, it could be A, mammals, B, fish, C, reptiles, or D, birds. What do you guys think? I'll give you a second if you do want to type your answer into the chat box. What is a sea turtle? I see lots of you typing in where you're coming from, people from North Carolina, Wisconsin, lots of locals. I'm really excited that you guys are here um, all over Texas, North Dakota. Welcome, guys. I'm really excited. And awesome, we have hopefully a whole sixth grade science class watching us today. Um, so for those of you that did guess what turtles were, they are in fact reptiles. So if you guys said reptiles, good job. We are going to talk a little bit about sea turtle and regular turtle anatomy today. So what is the first thing that you guys think of when you think of turtles? What do all turtles have? I'll give you guys a second to go ahead and say your answers out loud if you want. Go ahead and type them into that comment bar. So if you guys answered shells, you guys are right. So I have a ton of different shells sitting on the table here in front of me. So I'm going to show you guys my first shell. This is a sea turtle shell. So this one is pretty small, as you guys can tell. This came from a juvenile sea turtle, so a turtle that was pretty young. Um, so you guys will see the nice, beautiful pattern here on this shell. So we had a little Turtle Trivia Tuesday yesterday, and I want to see, does anybody know what turtle shells are made out of? We got a lot of comments on that post, and hopefully some of you that commented are tuning in live right now. But what is a turtle shell made out of? What do you guys think? All right, for those of you that answered our turtle trivia yesterday, we got so many comments that said keratin, and you guys were right. A turtle shell is made out of keratin. Now, what do you guys have that's keratin? Any guesses? Yeah, I see an answer coming in. You guys, go ahead and look at your fingernails. Your fingernails and your hair, that is all made out of keratin. So it's like a big fingernail that covers the back of these turtle shells. But underneath that, is a layer of something else. And it is something that is made out of calcium. We actually have them in our bodies too. So what is in your body that is really hard that is made out of calcium? All right, if you guys answered bones, you are right. So this turtle shell has two layers. There's a layer of keratin, and underneath that is a layer of bone. So, so you guys can see those two separate layers. I have a snapping turtle shell here, and we've kind of peeled off the keratin layer in the center area. So you guys are able to see that bone really, really well. And then this part, this is a really, really old shell, but this is keratin just like your fingernail. Now, I want you guys to go ahead and feel the back of your neck for me. Everybody touch the back of your neck. And th what you're feeling goes all the way down your back. And I want you guys to tell me what is that they're feeling that runs all the way down your back? What do you guys think? 
I'm going to show you with my turtle shell here. This one's a little bit better. So if you guys answered spines, you guys are right. Now go ahead and give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Who thinks that turtles have a spine? Maybe they do, maybe they don't. I'll give you guys a hint. Turtles do have a spine and it's all fused to the inside of their shell. So their spine runs right down the center and right off the side are their ribs, just like we have ribs in our bodies too. Now, a little cross section that we have here of one of our older shells, you guys can see this is what one rib bone would look like. So if I had the entire shell with me, it would kind of fit together like a puzzle piece, just like that. And of course, turtle shells are used for what? I hope all of you said protection. Um, turtle shells are perfect for protecting all of their organs on the inside. Now, there are two parts to a turtle shell. The upper part, like I just showed you with my sea turtle shell, as well as my snapping turtle shell here, that is called the carapace. So I have a freshwater turtle shell that I wanna show you guys. Obviously there is no turtle inside, but this top part is the carapace and underneath there are a layer of bones too. And these are all modified rib bones and this is called the plastron. Now I wanna give you guys a chance to see, I have some special guests with me today and you guys are gonna get to look at their shells really well. So I'm gonna pull out one of my little guests here and we'll see how well they cooperate for this video. This is our three-toed box turtle. This is PJ, and if you guys look, you'll see that PJ, just like we talked about, has that high shell that is made out of bone, and then there is a plastron underneath. Now, PJ is not much a fan of my video here, um, but if you guys look right here, you're gonna see this little seam. So box turtles have this really special adaptation. Now, you guys can tell PJ is not really afraid of me, but if he was, he would be able to close up this portion of his shell and that hinge actually closes completely. So this turtle would look like a teeny tiny little box. Now we've talked about the turtle shell, but I want you guys to tell me what do turtles use when they move around in their environment? If you guys want to type those comments into the comment section, go ahead. If you guys did say them out loud, turtles will use their legs. A lot of you probably said that. Now I'm going to pull out our other box turtle. And this is Annie. This turtle is a lot more calm than PJ was a second ago. But if you guys look, you guys will see that this turtle has really thick legs. There's also claws on Annie's feet, and that's gonna make it much easier for this turtle to move through the environment. Now, I'm gonna take you guys out to our box turtle enclosure as soon as I am done, so you can see where these turtles live full time. Their favorite thing to do is actually hide underneath the substrate. We have a bunch of wood chips in their enclosure, and they like to use these big, big claws here to bury underneath those wood chips and hide. Now, can you guys tell me, sea turtles don't have legs. They have a special type of adaptation. Does anybody know what sea turtles use to swim through the environment? Swim through the ocean, what do you guys think? If you guys answered flippers, you guys were right. So sea turtles have flippers and they are designed for swimming through the ocean. So a sea turtle's front flippers are used for power. That's what lets them swim really quickly. And their back flippers are used for steering, just like the steering wheel in a car. Now, I want you guys to tell me, I kind of said it with one of our turtles already, but what do turtles do when they get scared? What do you guys think? Now you guys saw that my box turtles weren't very afraid of me, but let's see if I can give you guys a hint here. So this is Annie back with us. Annie is not afraid today, but if you guys answered that turtles hide inside their shell, you guys were right. They do hide. Now I want you to give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Do you guys think sea turtles can hide inside their shell? What do you guys think? All right. You guys probably gave me some mixed answers because that's what we usually hear. Some people say yes, they can. Some people say no, they can't. So in order to find out the answer, I want you guys to pretend that you are little sea turtles with me today. I want you to pretend we have a shell on our back. We have flippers here for our arms. So if everybody could put their arms out straight to the front, as straight as you can possibly make them. No, we're turtles, so we're sea turtles specifically, so we don't have elbows anymore. Now, without bending your flippers, I want you guys to try and hide inside your shell. I'll try too, and I want you guys to do it at home. Without bending your flippers, 
Are you able to hide inside your shell? I'll give you guys a few seconds to keep on trying. <laughs> I know some of you are probably struggling. So if you guys said, no, you can't hide inside your shell as a sea turtle, you are right. And that is because sea turtles, they don't have a true elbow joint like we do. So their flippers are not able to hide inside their shells at all. The best that they can do is tuck their flippers in front, tuck them behind their back, or swim away really, really quickly. So throughout these next few weeks, we are going to be doing quite a few lives, and you guys will see some turtles that are missing flippers for various reasons. We are going to talk about why in some of our future videos. Now, we've talked about the turtle shell. We've talked about how they move around in the environment. But can you guys tell me, what is the last thing that a turtle needs? What do they use to eat? If you want, go ahead and type those comments into the comment section down below or say them out loud to your friends and family that you're with. What type of mouth does a sea turtle have? Now, if you guys answered beaks, you guys are correct. All turtles have a beak, and their beak is designed for eating different types of food. Now, let's go ahead and pull out our little box turtles again. Now, remember, these turtles live on land. They love burying underground. And if you guys look really closely, I'll try not to get too close. If you look at PJ's beak here, <laughs> PJ has a beak that's kind of smooth. There is a little point there at the end. So the things that we feed PJ here at Sea Turtle Inc. is a mixture of food. They love eating veggies and different types of fruits, but we will also give him little worms so he can go after those. Mealworms are his absolute favorite. Now, depending on what type of turtle you're looking at, though, their beaks are going to be a little bit different depending on what type of food that turtle likes to eat. Now, here in my hand, I do have a sea turtle skull. And this is a Kemp's Ridley sea turtle. And the way that you can tell is because this really sharp point here, right at the front, that is designed to crunch right through crab shells. That is the Kemp's Ridley's favorite source of food. Now, I want you guys to show me with your hands, how big is your brain? I'll give you guys a second. Is it tiny? Is it huge? What do you guys think? So a lot of you are probably putting your fists together like this, right? So if you guys put your two hands together, that is the size of your brain. Now, can you wiggle your thumb for me? That little thumb that you're wiggling, that is the size of a turtle brain. Their brain is very small. So if I flip this around in our sea turtle skull, their brain fits right here in the very back. It is a lot smaller than ours, which is crazy to think about because they do so many amazing things out in their natural environment. Now, I have something I want to show you guys. Oh, we have a recycling club tuning in. I'm really excited that you guys are here as well as all the rest of you too. So I have in this little jar, let's see if I can get this up close so you guys can see. Does anybody have any guesses? what this can be. It does have to do with the turtle's mouth. So that is your hint. We have some viewers tuning in from Edmonton, Canada. We're really excited to have you here. All right. Now I know that's probably not a very clear video because this is in formalin, um, but this is something called papillae, and that is what lines the sea turtle's throat. Now I know this looks pretty gnarly, pretty dangerous, right? But it's actually soft, fleshy material, and those spines point backwards. So we talked about how turtles have a teeth. Uh, I'm sorry, they don't have teeth. They have a beak, and their beak. What they do is take huge bites out of food and they will swallow that whole. So this papillae is what helps guide that food down into their stomach since they're not chewing their food like we would as people. So that is another cool adaptation that sea turtles have. So I've shown you guys so many things today. Lots of shells, lots of skulls here. Um, also our little box turtles. I want to make sure that you guys can see what their enclosure looks like. So I'm going to take you guys through our facility and let's see if I can figure out how to spin my camera around. There we go. Right now we are in our classroom and I'm going to make my way out towards our museum area. And I do have PJ and Annie with me right now. It is a beautiful day here in South Texas. I know a lot of you are tuning in from up north and it might be a little snowy up there. Um, so you might be a little bit jealous when I walk outside to see how beautiful it is today. But out here is our box turtle enclosure. And we also have another turtle out here named Pokey. And Pokey is out there for Pokey. 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and hop into this enclosure and put our little box turtles back where they belong. And then you guys can see their favorite place to hide. Now, a lot of people think that turtles are really, really slow moving. As you guys will tell here in a second, our box turtles can get moving pretty quickly. <laughs> if you guys do have any questions, feel free to type those into the comment section and I will answer them if I see anything pop up. Someone's on the move over here. Now I mentioned that one of their favorite things to do <laughs> So the turtle that I just left um, is Annie, but let's see where PJ headed off to. Oh, just hiding right here, right by my bin. Now here at Sea Turtle Inc, I did mention that we were a sea turtle hospital. So I want to show you guys one of our resident turtles today. I'm not sure who is out swimming around, but I'm gonna make my way back through our museum um, so we can see what those turtles are up to. And I see some questions coming in. What is their natural habitat? So three-toed box turtles actually like to live in more forested areas. Um, obviously we don't have a forest here on South Padre Island, but giving them that substrate that they're able to hide under really helps them feel more comfortable. And I see another question, can land turtles climb? And that's funny that you asked that because in our enclosure with our red eared slider, um, we actually had that turtle climb up a tree branch that we put in there one time. It was something that we had never seen before. So we were just as surprised as our visitors when we saw that turtle climbing up. She sat up there and sun for a little while and then she ended up going right back down into her pond. Now I am in our resident turtle tank area. You guys can see this space all behind me. I do wanna show you one of our sea turtles. It looks like nobody is swimming around right now. But, oh, let's see. Oh, Jerry's at the back of his tank. But I'm gonna take you over to Allison. Um, so I see a question coming in, wants to know why turtles walk slowly. And that is a good question. It depends on what type of turtle you're talking about. The bigger that they are, they are gonna move around quite a bit slower than turtles that are smaller. If you think about sea turtles, typically they're out in the ocean, right? And in the ocean, they're able to move really, really quickly. But once they get out on land, they are gonna be quite a bit slower because that is not their natural habitat. And I see a question, let's see. They wanna know why, how many, or why our box turtles are so fast? That is a good question. And you wanna know what? They are perfectly adapted to move around pretty quickly in that environment. So I am at our resident sea turtle tank, um, Allison. For those of you that are not familiar with our facility, we do work to rescue and rehabilitate sick and injured sea turtles back out into the wild, but we also have turtles that live here with us full time. And I am at one of those turtle tanks right now. I'm gonna spin my camera around so you guys can see Allison. Now this tank that you guys see her in is really slow and you're probably gonna have a lot of questions once she starts moving around. Um, Allison, let's see, there we go. Oh, Allison is a green sea turtle. And if you guys look at her moving, she is actually missing three out of her four flippers. Um, so she does struggle to swim. The tank that she's in right now is actually her nighttime enclosure. She swims with the help of a prosthesis. So if you guys think of um, Winter the dolphin from Dolphin Tail, 
winter swam with a prosthesis and that's what Allison uses whenever she goes out into her deep water enclosure. Since this tank is very shallow, she doesn't struggle to get around in this one. So we don't have to worry about putting her prosthesis on while she is in here. I see one question coming in. How many species are there? Um, there are hundreds of different kinds of turtles. I will tell you that species of sea turtles, there are only seven. So there's not a whole lot, which means they're really easy to learn. Now, a question coming in, where's Allison's prosthesis? It's actually right here with me. Um, so, like I said, since she is in her small enclosure right now, she doesn't need her prosthesis in order to swim because that tank is very shallow. Um, but I will show you guys, right through this gate, when we put Allison out to swim, she has all this space to go out. And that is when she needs the help with her prosthesis. So we are right about out of time today. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us and learning about sea turtle anatomy. Our next Facebook Live is going to be on Friday at one o'clock. We are going to be talking a lot about what we do in our hospital and threats to sea turtles. We're also gonna be posting activities throughout the next few weeks intermixed with our live videos so you guys can learn all about sea turtles right from the comforts of your own home. Thank you guys so much. And and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Go out into your backyards and get some fresh air because I know that's gonna make everybody feel a lot better with all the stress that everybody is under right now. Uh, thank you guys so much and I hope you have a good day. Bye guys.